Gwatsi sai hopa wa gamuna inume patsina hanukshita e kwe washtikshita mama nyet yuni kai tawa tawatsa hello everybody my name is max early i'm from laguna pueblo and this potter here i've been a traditional potter in laguna for a good many years this pot has always been around. I saw this pottery was the time when I started making pottery back in the early 90s. And I had seen this dough bowl at the Morning Star Gallery. And that was like about 25 years ago. And then the second time I saw the pot was at Andrew Fisher's Gallery. I walked in, I took some photographs of the piece and it was like I hadn't actually captured the essence of the pot in the photographs. And then when I tried to replicate the piece and make a, a similar design, I wasn't able to put the, the design on the pot because it's asymmetric. So I kept looking at designs and finally decided not, not to um, uh, do this design on a, on a clay bowl. So later down the line, I went up to Denver and I happened to walk into the Denver Library on the third floor and they had a collection of pottery from the Silverman collection. Lo and behold, this pot was up on a shelf, and I took some pictures of it again, but I still didn't capture its full essence. So throughout the years, went by probably like another 10 years or so, and as this project was evolving and looking through the files, this pot was in one of the, the photographs. And so I, I said, I know that pot. So I pulled out the, the photo and I looked at it, and to me, this dough bowl here has followed me throughout the time I've been, I started being a potter back in uh, about 91. It was like, more like a calling out from the pot itself. Like here I am in its entirety, you know, I'm, I'm here for you. The pot flying over from New York and then the lockdown happened. So that was February of uh, 2020 that the pot arrived here at SAR. And then I had to wait till May of 2021 to actually visit with the pot. So I came back up here to Santa Fe and really looked at all the different waves and signatures and just the motifs and trying to find a, an opening to where I could start to envision where this potter had put this design on this pot. And, and as I looked at the design over and over again, and going into the, the vines and the flowers and then seeing the steps coming up from the clouds, from the earth, and then looking inside and wondering what kind of dough they mixed in there, tortillas or whether it was for uh, the bread. It was like it's, it's coming home and I'm able to capture that design now on one of my pieces. So I would like to recreate this design, which is of an older essence, of an older time, and reawaken the design in a way that pays tribute to the matriarchs of Pueblo pottery. I see you in a pottery book with your maroon cactus petals. I long to inhale your virtuosity, then hold you in my palms. I see you at Morning Star your vines curl in waves of faded beauty. If I knew where you came from, I would take you there. I see you in a headdress, seven red-tipped feathers of sunrise and sunset. I adore your resilient design on vintage skin. I see you at a gallery, your seasoned interior of vermilion and beige reveals a footprint from infinite recipe blends. I see you at the Denver Library, sitting on top a bookshelf. The elevated stance displays your symmetry like a regal crest. I see your reflection in a pond as bees caress your honeycomb. A flight of stairs ascends on your painted cloud blanket motif. I see you're in another book of Pueblo treasures. Your portrait captures a glimpse 
of your durable longevity. I don't see you for over a decade until I thumb through a file of photos as your image entices my potter's eye. I know I'll see you when I request your presence in Santa Fe. Your flight from New York lands before the lockdown. After a postponed year, I see your chaffed mask of antiquity. My hands embrace your rare and vigorous shape. I see you don't have a distinct spirit line. I'll select a place to cross your threshold of earthenware permanence. I see your dough rising for the adobe bread oven, your generous tasks of mixing, shifting, and storing food for feast days and dances. I see your matriarch stirring blue corn mush for matzini, paper bread. Her fingers slide batter from your bowl onto a flat stone griddle. I see her filling your deep bowl with apples from the orchard. The last harvest you'll see prior to leaving your birthplace. I see you were a kitchen heirloom, lonesome for your home. Amut yuni, hati, dashranishtia. My compassion for you, pottery, where have you been? <laughs>